air conditioning systems, and I've, I've grouped this into three different categories. The first one I would say is self-contained system with an AC unit located inside the hazard area. There's always been a debate in the industry that because that one isn't actually pulling in any outside air, should you actually leave it running or should you shut it down? There's arguments both ways. Some people will say, no, you should shut it down because a air movement can in some way influence the development of the fire. Um, it could be that the fire has actually been started in a faulty air conditioning unit, so you say, well, it would be best to actually shut that down. But in actual fact, the, the counter argument is that if you've got an air conditioning unit and that that is continually recirculating the air, by definition it's also recirculating the extinguishing agent as well. And that will give you a much better chance of achieving a, a consistent design concentration throughout the whole enclosure. And then you look at the remote unit, so where the AC unit is located outside the hazard. If that's the case, and, and this is assuming that there's no uh, dampers or ductwork on the perimeter of the space, the tendency and the, the practice is to include the duct and the, and the unit volume. In fact, if you don't do that, you're in danger of actually depleting the concentration within the space. So you do need to understand the workings of the air conditioning system and make due allowance for any volumes of the ductwork and also the units that may be external to the protected area. And then centralised systems, and these range significantly in complexity. So on this one, I've took the easy route and assumed that this is a, damp a dampered system with the dampers around about the perimeter uh, of the enclosure. And what you would do there is you would simply include the duct volume up to the dampers. There is a, a requirement, I guess, that you should establish the integrity of those dampers because those dampers are, are, have got vast differences in the way that they uh, are at their ability to contain the gas. So on to the design of the system. <clears throat> Based on the project information that's been gathered, you need to determine the agent quantity, achieved concentration, number and size of the containers, nozzles and the pipe runs, and the pressure venting requirements. 